scared you, didn't I? Yeah, I scared you. Yeah, uh huh. I'm going to continue with this. And since I have a feeling that this video will be pulled off, I'll be directing my attention to this one here. Okay. Let's see here. Record? Oh, it's recording now. Yeah. Okay, I'll continue this. Uh, I'm going to re continue with my book, Ramit's Koran, which is which is a uh, edited version of the Koran that we all know and love. <laughs> Boy, is it an edited version of the Koran, but it's more than that. It also shows how to uh, use this when you're uh, uh, talking with Muslims. Yeah. All right, I'll continue with this thing here. Yeah. Okay, also in the Quran, Quran Surah chapter 98, verse 6, non-Muslims are seen as the worst of creation, which opens the door to beheading or uh, burning alive those they consider uh, to be non-Muslim, as ISIS demonstrates. There is even a scripture that says non-Muslims spend their lone, quote, lone time body to fingertips and constant rage of Muslims, wishing them only ill. Um, with such teaching, a Muslim is able to freely capture and enslave married women. Uh, see the first part of Quran 424. They can even uh, rape them in front of their non-Muslim husbands. See Sunan Abidawad 220 151. As reported, uh, 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 see how, see Sunan Abidawad to 2150's report of how the first part of Quran 424 is uh, 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 yeah, see how the first part of Quran 424 was handed down by uh, quote all of the exalted Muslims will try to say that there is no quote in the presence of their husbands who are unbelievers as regards raping in Sunan Abu Dawud 22150 uh, uh, they will say that Sunnah Abu Dawud 22050 means the same as Sahih Muslim 834-32. But for the longest time, even in the Sunni Muslim website Sunnah.com, uh, it had um, it, yeah yeah for the longest time, even the uh, website Sunnah.com, um, I have to change it to it had it. In it had it, it had it in, in in English as in the presence of their husbands who were unbelievers. Intercourse rape actually could take place with with the captured non-Muslim women. Such evil is demonstrated daily with ISIS and Boko Haram. And uh, found out in Sunni Abu there were other places that had it too, but. Uh, most Muslim websites have gotten rid of in the presence of their husbands or unbelievers and made just another version of Muslim 834-32. Realizing that the Quran teaches these things, it seems that the only way to wake up a Muslim to the true nature of Islam without them uh, falling into the arms of ISIS is to show them what the Quran actually teaches. They need to know that the Quran teaches that embryos go through a blood clot stage, um, which the Hadith says is 40 days in duration. The Quran also claims the earth is spread out flat like a carpet, which according to Muhammad in the Hadith is spread out on the back of a giant agitated fish called Nun. It's also called Behemoth and stuff, but uh, I think, yeah, I think it's mostly called Nun. Um, which would destroy the earth if Allah, according to the Quran, didn't, quote, cast down mountains as pegs, stabilizers. See Al Tabari Hadith. Then I discovered Quran 415 and something in the Hadith that made me think the Quran could actually be edited and changed, making it possible for Islam to go through major reformation. 
although the Quran is supposed to be eternal and that all his words can't be changed and altered um, the Quran mentions in two ver there's two scriptures 16.101 and 2.106 and especially Quran and especially 2.106 where Allah can abrogate the Quran don't believe me here is Quran 16.106 quote and when we Allah and we we Allah, Allah likes to call itself we a lot um, substitute a verse in place of a verse and Allah is most knowing of what he sends down they say you O Muhammad are but in O Muhammad is added uh, but an inventor of lies 16106 of lies yeah and here is 2106 we that's Allah uh, do not abrogate a verse or cause to be forgotten except that the key that's and this is the key word here except except um, uh, uh, that we bring forth uh, better when is added one better than it or similar to it do you know do you know what that um, do you not oh then it goes on to say do you not know that all is over all things competent that's current 2106 uh, now these these two scriptures let you know that the eternal and unchanging Quran isn't eternal and unchanging because in Quran 4 verse 15 it says those who commit unlawful sexual intercourse of your women bring against them for wit witnesses from among you and if they testify confine the guilty women to houses until death takes them or and this is the key word this is the key this 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 is key to the proof that the Quran can be changed or Allah ordained for them another way another said it that way and some say another way better that's Quran 4 verse 15 did you catch that did you catch that Although the scripture seems to be an admittance that the Quran is a definite creation off the top of Muhammad's head, it at the same time shows that the quote eternal and unchanging Quran is a work in progress with the sentence quote or Allah ordains for them another way that is until Muhammad thinks of something better to do with lewd women. According to the Hadith, let's see how much time do I have left here. I check here. I got some. I've got more time yet. Okay. According to the Hadith, which a Sunni Muslim, like an ISIS member, is to believe in or not be a Sunni Muslim, one of the proofs that Muhammad was the seal of the prophets was that Muhammad had a growing hairy mole on his back that went from the size of a partridge egg. That's the Hebrew Kari Volume One. Uh, book for number eight, 182 uh, 189 to that of an apple Jenny of at Tamid Tamid Hadith 1534 Aline CD-ROM version I, I've known two people with such a deformity growing on their backs neither of these guys claim to be the seal of the prophets as a matter of fact one happily had his seal of the prophets re, uh, removed especially being that it was making his wife squeamish when looking at it the thing is it seems to me that if you don't have one of these growing hairy moles on your back for Muslims to consider you worthy enough to be the seal of the prophets there would be no way to reform his law that you could only reform it by deceit for if you had no conscience you could go further saying that while you were exploring the dark cave an angel of light suddenly appeared before you claiming to be an angel be the angel Jibril again using Quran 2106 to abrogate most of the Quran you could say Jibril had returned even with the same threat of squeezing you to near death if you let it known you weren't able to read or recite the Sahih al-Bukhari Hadith 
uh, 1.3 narrated by Asia. So, if, if anyone were desperate enough to try to reform Islam by lying, they might also say that the angel of light uh, told them that it was no longer due to having a hairy mole. If someone were a liar with no conscience, he could make up such a story about an angel of light. As proof, he might even say he took a flying creature with the head of a human, wings of a bird, um, tail of a peacock, and flew uh, to uh, two structures in Jerusalem, the temple, uh, to, uh, to to visit two structures, two structures in Jerusalem, the Temple of Solomon and Al Aqsa Mosque, neither of which existed at that same time. Neither existed at the same time. You know, I think I might have to stop here. I think I've run out of time. Okay, one more minute. One, okay, oh, one more minute. No, okay, don't get here. Okay. According to Aisha, whom Muhammad married when she was uh, only six, Muhammad claimed to have flown on such an animal in his journey, quote, journey by night from Mecca to Jerusalem, where he said he took uh, Moses' advice in talking Allah down from 50 prayers a day to the current five. So he said, sorry, Hadith, Volume 1, Book 8, Number 334, uh, 5, 345. But to me, truth is where it's at, even if it's painful. Thus, instead of trying... Thus, instead of lying and coming up with a, with a new Quran that way, I feel it's best to just edit and remove most scriptures from the Quran and only focus on those scriptures in the Quran that don't make... That, 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 those, 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 those scriptures in, in the Quran that make sense only if the Bible is not corrupted as Muslims believe. And so I think I'll edit... I'll, I think I'll stop it here. Right. Yeah, that's where I'll stop it here, okay.